What's going on guys, welcome back to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to play my self-using high speed scenario pack on consoles. So I'm going to show you how to play um, this scenario pack on my Xbox Series X. So yes, this update came out today, um, I'd say about half an hour ago before um, recording. So yes, but I'm very looking forward to this. So you'll be able to play these scenarios on consoles and you shouldn't have an issue with it. Because I have tested it. I have tested these scenarios on my um on my Xbox Series X and they seemed fine. So yes. So I'll show you how to download it. Um and then we'll move on to um we'll move on to my Xbox Series X and see how we get it installed. Um so yes. One thing I do recommend is having a USB stick, because you will need a USB stick. Um, you, sh you shouldn't need any more than 8 gigabytes. Um, eight gig gig you'll still have loads of space on it if you have 8 gigabytes. These, these scenarios, I think, are like about 50, me uh, 50 megabytes. Um, so yeah, they're very small, but yes. So you go down here to download now. This will direct you to my Alan Thompson sim well to the Alan Thompson sim page and um download it. Oh yes, do uh hang on a second because I need to log into my details. Bear with me because I'm I haven't logged in. Right, I should be logged in now. There we go. I am logged in. So yes, once you get to this page, you go down, um, and you can only do it with the manual install. The installer is for if you have a PC and you want to play these scenarios on a PC. But yes, go down to manual install, then press add to selection, then you go up to your basket, and here you see the South Easy High Speed Scenario Pack. You click checkout. And then this will come up with just your information. You press press I accept the terms and conditions and then press download. Right. Just wait for it to process. Right, so there we go. Confirmation it's done. So you click this blue link here and then put it to wherever you want to save it. Um, once the box come up, hang on. So yes, here, just put. Uh, it doesn't matter where you save it to. I'm just gonna save it to my downloads. Right. Once that's done, you press this little arrow here. It may be different if you're not using Chrome, but then you go to Show in Folder, and then you, and then here's the WinRAR folder. So you right click and you press Extract to you know, the South Facing High Speed Scenario Pack Manual Install. There you go. And now this is where you're going to need your USB drive. So, so you plug in your USB drive if you haven't already. Right. Mm, I plugged it in, come on. Why aren't you coming? No, one second, sorry. Oh, uh, there we go. Just ignore that, and that's something else I'm doing. Um, right. So what you do, it doesn't matter if you have anything on the USB drive. All you need to do is just drag, drag and drop. So you put my games folder, and you drag that into your USB drive. Once that is done, you can. Well, what I recommend is right click, and then press. Um, eject so it's, now you can safely um, plug out your USB drive and now this is where we can move over to our Xbox Series X so I'll catch you on my Xbox Series X or you can go, or you can literally use this on any console you can use it on a PlayStation 4 or 5 it's for consoles and any console that you can play Train Sim World 2 on should be able to work, but I have an Xbox Series X, 
So yes. So yeah, let's move over to the console. Welcome to Train Sim World 2 on my console. Um, on my Xbox Series X. So yes. So. So what you do is once you've put um, the scenarios on your USB drive, it, it doesn't matter if you turn on not on not you if you turn on the console first. But if you have turned on the console first, what you'll do is you'll need to plug in your USB drive, which I've already done, and then well, you, you literally don't need to do anything. Once you've plugged in your USB drive, you just need to load up Trains in World 2 and then click on Southeastern High Speed. So there you go. It's, 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 it's literally really easy. It's just plug in and play. It's just plug. Yeah, plug in and play. So yeah, it's really easy. You literally don't need to do anything. You just need to plug in the USB drive. And load up Trains in World 2. As easy as that. It's really easy. Right. So you will come into this. But what you need to do is click on. Main menu. Right. Once you're at this page. Just go to tools. Go to scenario, scenario designer. And then here they all are. Oh, bear with me. What, it's being a little bit laggy here, don't mind. Yeah, it's just being a bit laggy, don't mind me. But the, ignoring the live stream scenario, and that's just something I, I did for a live stream. But yes, literally, here what, here's all the scenarios. So yes, I'm going to load into, let's do scenario 5. So yeah, let's do that and let's load in. And these are playing off my USB drive. So yes, if you do unplug the USB drive, um, if you're playing these scenarios, Train Sim World 2 will crash. So yes, just keep that in mind. And if you want to, if you don't want to play these scenarios anymore, just just close down um, Train Sim World 2. And then plug out the USB drive in it, and that's done. Oh. Right, so here we are. So, turn, in, turn on the master key. Oh, put it, put it into neutral. I'm not very good at um. I. I don't really play these um play trains in my two on my console much. Um yeah literally I don't know what to do. And why am I opening my doors? This isn't even a passenger service. Right, can we go? Can we go or do I need to press DC? Oh, flipping heck. I really don't like this. I really don't like this. Right, now we should be okay. So here we are. So, yes, this is playing on my Xbox Series X. It seems very smooth. Have no issues with it at all, and it, the only console it may lag on um, is the original Xbox One. That may lag a little bit, but it it, it shouldn't be unplayable. It should be about 30 FPS. It shouldn't be too bad. But yes, this is playing on my Xbox Series X, so it is really smooth, as it's a uh, next-gen console. But there you go. And that's how to play um, the Southeastern High Speed Scenario Pack on consoles. It's as easy as that. Once you put it on the USB drive, just pl plug it into your console and load up Tracer World 2. It's as easy as that. 
so there you go so I'd like to say thank you very much for watching this video um, and now I hope you enjoy playing myself using high speed scenario pack on your console so yes thank you very much for watching and I will catch you later I'll catch you later guys bye bye